missed some of you last week, and so what we're going to do is try to uh, condense part of that lesson, and we'll go over more of it. Let me talk to you before we begin, because we'll do this, do this in English. Um, we have last, uh, you lost last week, okay, for some of you. Next Wednesday night is to be our last night. I think that will be fine for us to get the lessons in that we need to do and some review. I am available on the last Wednesday night of May, which is like something like the 27th or something, which is the Wednesday night before y'all leave on the 3rd. Would you like to have a session that night just to come in and talk and just review and say, help? Practice beforehand. Practice beforehand? Because I'm, I'm willing to do it if y'all want to. I cannot commit to it because we're trying to get the house on the market. And it's oh, all okay. Over. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I was saying, I'll, you know, uh, we'll, we'll talk about it again next week, but just be thinking about that if you want me to do that. Better I think that's the 27th. Uh, yeah, I think something like that. Just, and you don't need to worry about being here, but if you think that would would help, then I'll be here. So I should be here anyway. Okay, so we'll be here. So. Okay, we're going to begin with just some pronunciation of letters again so that you can do it. And these are some letters just on the board so we can review how to say those, okay? A is going to always be the same, unlike in English, which is impossible, okay? By the way, what's the most commonly used vowel sound in English? Do you know? A-I-O-U, is that what you're... Yeah, vowels or A-I-E-O-U. What's the most common sound, though? Oh, I'm sorry. No, in English. Do you know? It's uh, uh <laughs> think of you know, think of all the times you really say uh that's the sound and it can be spelled all kinds of different ways. Spanish is so much easier. The only sound for this letter is ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 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 taco. Taco. Uh, Repeat that. Uh, enchilada. Enchilada. How many A's in that one? La, ah, da. <laughs> see? Okay. The B sound is a B sound, but it's not a B sound. You don't put a lot of force behind it. So just softly whisper in your neighbor's ear. Da. Just da. Okay. <laughs> if you say C before E or I in a sign or in the list that you're going through, that's like an S. S. Cielo. The word for sky is Cielo. and heaven is cielo. Cielo. Okay. Cielo. In other places is k. k, 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 k. Alright. C H, just like you'd expect it to be, except it's a separate letter, is ch. ch, ch, ch. Okay. The D is a softer D again. You don't get these hard, forceful uh, Sounds like we get a little the, the German influence oh, yeah. in our language with forceful sounds. So this is uh, uh, the word for breakfast. We're going to learn in a minute is el desayuno. De, 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 desayuno, desayuno. This sound is a, a, and it's almost a, it can sound like an a. We tend to draw that a sound out, but it starts out the same way. A, a, okay. It's very Canadian sounding. A little. Eh? Yeah. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> F, just like in English. Okay, no problem with that one. G, if you sit before an E or an I, it's a sound like an H. Okay. Otherwise, it's a D sound. Good, yeah. Okay. Uh, sometimes you will, well, I don't deal with that. Okay. I'll, I'll deal with it when we come to it later. What's the sound H makes if you were here last week? It's silent. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> if you it, it's not. <laughs> it doesn't make any sound. It's just there. Here, so, mind. this is. Yeah. 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 You don't see too many K's in Spanish, okay? L is like it is in English, 
okay. Hasta luego. Luego. Just don't Double L, on the other hand, is like a Y as in yellow. Yeah. That's where we call it a yamas. Comete yamas, which is a double L. M is the same as it is in English. N also. This is N with a tilde. My tilde is a little too fancy. It's nya. Yeah. Nya. Okay. Just like in Canyon, because Canyon really is spelled, say, enye or enye. It has an enye. Yeah. This is like in English. Okay. The Q is k again. And the Q U, which is the only time I think you see a Q in Spanish, is always silent. Okay. So if you Que pasa is just Que, que pasa. Que pasa. You're not uh, you're not hearing a U in there. Otherwise you sometimes you get it would be slurred, so you'd think it would be que, but it's not. It's just as if it's not there. So Q is Q? Q is Q. Just like we do. So, and QU is? <laughs> then why did you say K pasa? Because that spells K pasa. Okay. So it's as if so that. It's okay. And the spelling of, the reason why this is spelled has to do with the fact that it's got, it is the same E or I kind of thing that works okay. back over here. All right. Okay. All righty. So where am I? R. Q, 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 Q. We talked about this last week. This is a little, uh, I've lost my word. Roll. Roll. Thank you. <laughs> of your tongue. It's but you don't try it. It's nothing you do with your tongue. Okay. You sp it's air that's coming up from your diaphragm and passing over. Uh, uh, so just, but that's just one. Okay. So, okay. Uh, que quieres? What do you want? Quieres? Okay, and then this is a big one. Okay, as in ferrocarril, which is a famous word with two R, two double R's, which is a railroad. This is S, S is okay, and you will never see an S H. You're never going to get a sh sound. Okay, T is a little softer. T. So if I wanted T to drink, T, T, and it's almost it, you. Do the T like you say T like you do in English. I want some eyes T. T. Feel where your T is? Most of you never pay attention to this. T. You want to move your tongue back a little bit up. Okay. And you get T. 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 Is that right? You feel it? Okay, that's where you want it. But it doesn't matter if you say T. Okay. What's this again? The V and B. You're going to not hear any difference. You're not going to see a V. Okay? So it's, it's like a V. So, okay. W. Probably not going to run into any words that you're going to be looking at that have W's. Okay? They're borrowed words normally. Okay. Uh, that means it's coming from another language. Some, you might have a name, Waskar. I know I'm at, uh, I've heard the name Waskar. Okay. Does he spell it with a W? Mm -hmm. okay. W A S C A R. Okay, okay. But All right. it's so the only one I know. Waskar. You heard Oscar. Oscar. And, and Oscar. Yeah. Oscar, Oscar and Waskar. Okay. So uh, two so different ones. A, yeah, I don't I'm about know. Oscar. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only one. Okay. X can be a X. Or it can be a. Again, you're not going to like the. In the Oaxaca. 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 Uh, Spanish. Mexico. 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 Oaxaca. 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 And then the Z is a s, s, s. If you look at audio files sometimes and you hear this and this, this sometimes sounding like it's TH, you're hearing pronunciation from Spain. Okay. That's Castellano is another way of saying Spanish, but that is the Castilian dialect. Okay. So you hear that. People sound like they're talking with a bit of a lisp. Okay. But they're just from Spain. Okay. 
uh, and it, it, you, you would be understood if, that, if you had learned Spanish. You, you know, they will understand you anyway. But they can look at you like a little, oh, poor thing. Has a little problem with their speech. Okay. Um, Randy is tonight. I have something special for her. But she's not here yet. Okay, what I want us to do is to put those four. If you were not here last week and don't have your sheet from last week, I'm going to give that to you. I have a sheet that's not here. Then I'll give you this. Thank you. I expected that. Okay. Very quickly to practice some of that pronunciation, let's just read. Okay the numbers, and I just have the numbers on here in case you need them, okay. All right, so, and you're going to read them to me. Uno. Gracias. Dos. Tres. Tres. Good. I didn't, I didn't hear tres. I don't know. Three. Tres. Okay. Tres. Tres. All right. Cuatro. Let's repeat. Cuatro. Cinco. 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 Seis. Seis. No, that's not C-A's, it's seis. It's A, but that goes so fast. A, it's all sound. Seis. Siete. Repita. Siete. Ocho. Ocho. Nueva. Is it nueva? Nueva. Look at it. Nueve. Nueve, good. Nueva is new. Nueve is nine. Okay. Diez. 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 Okay. Once. Once. Doce. Trece. Trece. Catorce. Catorce. Excellent. Quinty. Look, look at our rule. Q U, the U is silent. So what's it going to be? Quince. 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 Excellent. Repeat that. Quince. 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 Diecisiete. Diecisiete. Dieciocho. Dieciocho. Diecinueve. Diecinueve. Veinte. Veinte. Notice that how we're spelling that that diez changed to c when we got it in the middle of a thing. That they have the, that helps you remember that has the same sound when we're spelling it that way. Okay. Are we at twenty? Did we hear twenty? Veintiuno. Not B A. Look at it again. B. B. Veintidós. Veintidós. You said B A. You said B A. I said what? I said what? You said you said B A. Oh, okay. Okay, I got you. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We won't go any further on those. Let's just let's do the 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 tens. Okay. Let's just pronounce those together. Treinta. Together. Cuarenta. Cincuenta. Seisenta. Seitenta. Together. Ochenta. Noventa. If it's an even 100 for counting, cien. Yo tengo cien dólares. I have a hundred dollars. Question. David, I see a question on your face. Uh, I see it there. The, so the O was, I was looking up here. The O was silent in there. And silent in what? Cien. Well, cien, it can be ciento by itself if it's not an adjective. The number is 100 cien. But I have 100 somethings. I have cien dollars. Uh, I have 100 cats. Could you pronounce oh, 30 again? 30 is 30. Don't, don't try to do that trick. Get that, you can't, it's hard to get 30 out. Hear how, how tough that is? 30. 30. But that T soft against your tongue. 30. Your tongue against the rigid, uh, right there, right behind your teeth. 30. 30. 30. Much easier, isn't it? 30. Okay. All right, now we want to work with. And numbers you can play with. Okay, I don't know if you're going to need many numbers or not. You're certainly not going to want 100 eggs. 
<laughs> Unless you're cooking. I don't have any extra to be cooking, so you might. No, no, I might. They might say, you know, we need, we need 30 <laughs> eggs to <laughs> cook. <laughs> between <laughs> between <laughs> his pottery and cooking, we're not going to get the other work out here. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I, I previewed, I was telling uh, Christy that I wanted to know a little bit more about, you know, these words I was looking up for cob house construction. So I was watching a cob building being done by a group of kids and, and teenagers out in California, and I, I thought, God, I wish I was going on the scene. I can't. I took, I, I'm too old to, to go and witness the altitude. But uh, I thought, that looks like fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we want to we want to look at some food things, and I sent you links last week. Uh, with some things about some foods and fruits that you are not familiar with at all that may be there and you might just want to because I've looked to see the fruits in Bolivia and I gave you a link for that. Uh, uh, I may have the link on here but I think it may be at the end of this. Let's see. Yeah, typical Bolivia, Bolivian fruits. So there's a whole lot of thing on Things, interesting things on that Bolivia Bay site. I couldn't get it. It would not. It kept saying this site is down or something like well, that. Well, it might be. So, okay. so I don't know if anybody else has that. Okay. So let's just look at the three lunch, the three dinners. Okay. Three meals. I'll get these words out. I'm not thinking English too well today. Uh, breakfast is. El desayuno. Muy buenas noches, señora. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. It's late enough to be a good night. You can almost tell he's in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, breakfast, el desayuno. El desayuno. Okay. And they might tell you la hora del desayuno mañana. The time of breakfast tomorrow is a certain time. Okay. But you don't worry too much about it. Yeah. This is what you got last week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Repita. Breakfast is? Desayuno. Muy bien. Lunch. El almuerzo. Repita. El almuerzo. Notice that the M-U-E, the U-E, it gets slurred. Where, where? Okay. Dinner, la cena. Okay. Do they eat more at lunch and less at dinner? Yes, but we will eat more at dinner than at lunch because we'll be on the work site. So we'll okay. probably have light sandwiches light at lunch. Sandwich or but okay. normally it's big, big dinner, big lunch, small dinner. Yeah, that's what is typical. Okay. And uh, will they be eating at United States lunchtime or Bolivian lunchtime? U.S. U.S. Okay. They'll change everything for us. Okay. Except the language, because right. we're looking at this time and a big deal. Usually, well, and it may be too. And it's usually time. about yeah, it's <laughs> later than noon. Yeah, much later sometimes. Yes. Okay. It's been at least that's been my experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's look at some foods. Okay. Las papas. Las papas. Las papas. Please don't ask for papas because. Those are dads, and you don't want to <laughs> <laughs> Papas. Mi papa come muchas papas. Okay. Nor do you want to want, I, I didn't say, I want el papa. Because you don't need the Pope. Repeat the por favor. Por favor. Por favor. Por favor. Por favor. You haven't gotten that yet. Here, I'll pop this over to him. Okay. All right. Mrs. De nada, señor. All right. So, I, and these are things that typically you have. I don't know what happened to my tabbing on this. Rice is el arroz. El arroz. And you've seen that, arroz con pollo, because you go out and order mass of this. Okay, el arroz. Uh, beans? Los 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 uh, corn can be both el maíz. El maíz. Or el choclo. Okay, I checked with Christine. They use both chicken. You know because you've used it here. El pollo. El pollo. 
or el cerdo, el cerdo, cerdo. meat in general, beef, la carne, la carne, la carne. carne. <laughs> como, flex, okay, soup, careful, so, this one is la sopa, so, la sopa, so the F is right now, so in the shower, don't ask for la sopa, <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to shower too often. And she will go make you soup if you ask for the okay. sofa. <laughs> <in the bathroom. laughs> okay. Fruit, la fruta. La fruta. Bananas like you're used to eating and are going to be la banana. La banana. La banana. La banana. You may be served plantains and they're more dessert or a black like sweet. They're cooked sometimes like sweet potatoes too. They're delicious. Eat them. Okay. A, 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 a plantain banana, which is a drier, shorter yeah. banana, is a platano. No, platano. Okay. okay. We had them all the time in Costa Rica. They were served just about every meal, and they are delicious. Uh, apple, la manzana. La manzana. Z is always like this. Orange, la naranja. La naranja. Lemon or lime. And this is interesting because sometimes you don't. There is no difference in those. El limón. El limón. El limón. That explains what happens in Mexican restaurants. <laughs> 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 right. And they're not typically those, those little tiny things, things, things that you buy in the grocery store or see here. Some of them are quite large. Okay, pineapple, la piña. La piña. And I won't go into that one, but just be careful if you want pineapple that you say piña or just point. Okay. Uh, melon, el melon, el melon. Bread, el pan, el pan. Do they use tortillas or anything like that? Do they flatten? Uh, yep, you can get those. Okay, so you can see. Uh, toast, which you may have at breakfast, el pan tostado. Bread, toasted bread. Okay, tostado. Border, uh, excuse me, butter. La mantequilla. Mantequilla. Uh, egg is a huevo. Yeah, huevo. Huevo. Remember your V is not uva. No, I don't see that. Yeah. I see those teeth. A huevo. Uh, salt. La sal. La sal. Pepper. La pimienta. La pimienta. Uh, this is black pepper. If you want peppers, a pepper is el chile. Chile. It's like el chile. Okay. Uh, do they season foods heavily or? Uh, no, they won't for us. Okay. They'll tell us if it's going to be spicy. Okay, good. And that, you know that from picante. 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 Sauce, so yeah. That's picante. It's generally so, not. Is la pimienta queso, is that pimento cheese? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I tried. <laughs> I don't know what a pimento is, okay. but it's not, you know. No. no. I don't buy pimento, yeah. so it's okay. pimento. Okay. Coffee and café. Café. Tea and tea. Okay. Sugar and azúcar. 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 Milk, la leche. La leche. La leche. La leche. La leche. Uh, cream in my coffee. Café con leche. leche. Coffee with milk. Okay. Uh, you may even get actual cream. Right? Water, el agua. Notice uh, how you kind of swallow that. El agua. Uh, you hear that gilga, gilga. El agua. <laughs> Juice is el jugo. So, el jugo de naranja would be what? Orange juice. El jugo de manzana would be what? El jugo de limón would be what? Lemon juice. A little tart. <laughs> or lime juice. Or they, they would also call it limonada. Limonada, yeah, you get. Lemonade. Yeah, you get la limonada. So. And I will they have. Cold drinks, like soft. <laughs> <laughs> so refresco. I say, but they will have those. Ones. Yes. Okay, a refresco. You may want to write that down. Refresco. Refresco. R E F R E S C O. Refresco. Think about fresca. If you want sodas. Refresco. Coke. Yeah, Coke. Are you going to ask for Coca-Cola? Yeah, or you can say Coke or Sprite oh, or Sprite and those words are yeah. universal. How do you order iced tea? Te frío. 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 Te frío.
té frío. Sometimes you get a little say té helado. Té helado. Té helado. So, if you want something, okay, like if you're at the table and you know there's salt or pepper on the table and you, you want to be want to try out, say quiero la sal, por favor. Quiero. quiero. Say this. You can see it right here. Quiero, and then whatever it is, por favor. When does it need to quisiera? When you're being super polite and that's a subjunctive form, so I'm just. Keeping it kind of simple, but quesiera is a very polite way of yeah, ordering in a restaurant. Day. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's it's very nice. You're being very polite to whoever is serving you. <laughs> and if you're serving, you know, because y'all are cooking and serving, uh, uh, so I'm going to ask you, quieres? Quieres más cerdo? Do you want more pork? You know what? Whatever it is, do you want is quieres? I want quiero. So we're making that real, real, real simple, okay? Because there's enough you're trying to get in your head, and there's no way you're going to remember it and be able to use all these things. But if you hear some of these things as you've gone over, it's going to make you feel more comfortable, and then you can occasionally use something that will make them feel more comfortable. Okay. Uh, yes, please. What would you think would be what? See, por favor. Yes, thank you. Sí, gracias. Sí, gracias. No, thank you. No, no, thank no you. gracias. <laughs> no, thank you. And no, thank you. So it's no gracias, please. <laughs> that was good. That was like, is this a trick? <laughs> and if you want to check, is it hot? In the sense of being spicy, es picante. Es picante. Es picante. If they say, if they talk to you, say, cuidado, es caliente, está caliente, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's hot to the touch or hot from the fire. There's a difference between caliente and picante. Um, what do you want to eat? Not do you want something, but que quieres comer, repita. Que quieres comer. What do you want to drink? Que quieres beber. With? Con. Sin? Without. Con, repita. Con. Con. Sin? Sin. 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 Okay. All right. Sin. Now, Sin. I want you to turn to your neighbor. And first, I want you to pretend you're at the table and you're wanting someone. You want, you want to say, I want such and such. Whatever it is. Just pretend they have access to whatever that food is. Talk to your neighbor there. Go
Okay. Um, Ki Kiaris. Why did you just say K Kiaris? K Kiaris. Um, That's a little. Okay. Lock, lock. No, you're asking yeah. Okay. Well, lock you're saying. asking him, what do you want to eat? So you don't need to ask him any of this. I'm just telling you what time of day it is so he can order, he can tell you appropriate questions. Okay. 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 You have to tell her at least two things, and that's not going to be much of a dinner. <laughs> well, I, I was waiting for the next entry. All right, no. <laughs> I have to say it again. <laughs> so, quiero el pan y qué más? What more? Uh, quiero. Uh, I'm trying to find something I want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just make it up. Hey, that's dinner. <laughs> yeah, I'm making it work, so. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, quiero uh, la sopa, por favor. Pan y sopa. Qué aburrido. Okay. It's a little bit boring, that's okay. All right. that's, uh, that is the, the... Have you not had dinner before? I, you know, I'm not in a restaurant. I'm in a group here oh, eating dinner in Bolivia. Okay. Okay. okay, let's see. <laughs> oh, no. I had to give, give Wayne a hard time here. Okay. All right, David, Egypt. Uh, you can choose your meal. And just tell us which one it's going to be. Desayuno, almuerzo. Which one? La cena. La cena? La cena? Is it? Is it dinner or? La cena. La cena. Okay, muy bien. Escuchen, this is. ¿Qué quieres comer? ¿Qué quieres comer? Right, say it. Quieres, quieres. Quieres, quieres. Quiero el maíz y el pollo picante, por favor. ¿El qué? ¿Qué? Yeah, pollo picante. Pollo picante. Spicy chicken, I guess. Spicy chicken, me gusta. It's not boring. No, it's not boring. No, it's not boring. Jan, what do you want to have a dinner, Jan? Latina. C E is cena, la cena, okay? Okay, that's my meal. Now I ask something. Ask him what he okay. wants to eat. Uh, quiero. No, you're telling him. Quiero. You're asking him. Why don't you ask her? Quiero. Okay. Pollo. Uh, okay. Okay. Como? I didn't hear that last one. Las papas. Las papas. Las papas. Okay. Muy bien. I thought at first you said zapatos. So did I. Which is shoes. So I just want to say, oh, you'll be okay. Okay. So you were saying shoes. There was nothing else.
a gift. We did novice did foods last week uh, because food I thought is something you probably need. You know, something you know, just so you feel a little bit more at ease about what the things are. Uh, we'll come back and review for those of you who were here last week the places and directions as to where things are and where things might be because. When you're working on the on the construction site, you may need to know those. So come on in. Do you need something? Delivery. Oh. Delivery service. And where's her tip? Four for <laughs> Where's her tip? She went to Pollo. Don't pay for it. Oh, oh, did you go to Pollo Tropical? I can't wait to We did. <laughs> You want it spicy chicken? Spicy chicken. Well, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I want to give you another sheet, but before we do that, well, this is just for the Senora Honeycutt. Take one and pass it around, and we're going to sing a little song <laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> Is it yes, going to be recognizable when we sing it? <laughs> well, yes it is. We're going to, if, if I can sing, I've got some, some many right, allergy right. problems at this point. But this is Jesus Loves Me in Spanish, and we are not singing it word for word. Recognize that if you are going to do music in another language, you have notes, you have words, and believe it or not, they're supposed to fit together for those who are not musical. <laughs> and you wanted to have some bit of rhyme. And so let me just read what these I'm going to read. And this is just that first stanza and the chorus. All right. Cristo me ama, bien lo sé. Repeat that. Cristo me ama, bien lo sé. And this is what's saying Christ loves me, I know it well. Well, it, I know, is the order that you're actually saying it. Su palabra me hace ver. Su palabra me hace ver. His word makes me see. Que los niños son de aquel. Que los niños son de aquel. Quien es nuestro amigo fiel. ¿Quién es nuestro amigo fiel? So, in that, let me put that whole stanza together. Christ loves me, I know it well. His word makes me see that the children are of that one who is our most faithful friend, or who is our faithful friend. So, not like it's got the same feeling, all right? And then, si Cristo me ama, si Cristo me ama, si Cristo me ama, si Cristo me ama, la Biblia dice así. The Bible says so, okay? So, you, shall we sing? Uh, we shall. <laughs> should know better than to ask questions. Okay. I would. Good, good. Start us off so it's out in a single tune. Cristo me ama bien lo sé Su palabra me hace ver Que los niños son de aquel Quien es nuestro amigo fiel Si Cristo me ama, si sí, Cristo me ama, si sí, Cristo me ama, la Biblia dice así. You sing so much better than you speak. <laughs> Do you know that's a fairly, that is universally true? It's much easier to sing in a foreign language than it is to speak because we get all nervous when we speak and we relax a little bit when we sing. Is that not so, Senor? Do you relax when you sing? Do you relax when you sing? Are you more relaxed when you sing? 
Yeah. Well, why don't you set all this right. music for us? Hi, we'll okay. Demi. <laughs> we can sing for our cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince y más. <laughs> Okay, now let's go to work. Words connected with building cob houses. Casas de cob. Cob. We're just going to ask Christy. I got here tonight. Cob. Cob. Have all of you looked at a video or something for cob houses being made? Seen those? Have you seen one? Yeah, yeah, they're fun. Like so much fun. Okay, so here's some tools you're gonna gonna need, and we can put these together with where is the oh, yes. I need. I think I have that down here. Necesito. I may not. I'll give it to you later. I'll give it to you next week. There'll be odds and ends next week. Okay, and I can tell you where it is. Or someone said, do you need? Or I need more, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. So, shovel, la pala. La pala. La pala. Is that the word they use for shovel? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any, any of these that I've got wrong? Are these tools, appliances, vary from country to country a lot. Yes. Okay. Yes. A stick, because you're going to punch holes, so things are going to dry. You got la pala, you got el palo. El palo. El palo. So, if someone brings you a pala instead of the palo you thought you were asking for, you said, oh, no, el palo, por favor, or go look for your own. Mm -hmm. okay. A pickaxe, which you may need. We don't know whether you will need it or not. I, the two words I saw for this, el pico. Yeah. That's the one I've heard the most. Okay, so I just learned that one then, el pico. Uh, pico de gallo is what? Well. <laughs> 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 pico. 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 Yeah. Uh, and I think a piquito may be a smaller, because you have those mm -hmm. small pickaxes mm -hmm. yeah. instead of the big ones. Okay. You have the next word, which we call a machete. It's going to be a what? Machete. I've got to hear a sh sound. Machete. Machete. Okay. Soil, earth, dirt. El suelo, is that what they use mainly, or la tierra? Or la tierra, different? el suelo is, I know, is the ground. Yeah. And be, the, it can also be soil, and so I wasn't yeah. sure. So just Either of those two words will work. It just yeah. means the base or the ground is suelo. Yeah, and you're, you're going to, I'm not sure you're gonna, where you're going to do all your work, but uh, there, there probably going to have a dirt pile, or you're going to make piles, so I, I can see that part of the construction. Mud, el barro, or el lodo? Lodo is what lodo. I used. Okay, so again, you've got a pencil mark through the other ones that they don't use as much. El lodo is mud. At least that's what I called it, and they completely understood me, so. Okay, that's <laughs> I've seen both. Okay. okay. I've never heard of el barro. And they may have called it that, and I just didn't know what they were talking about. And when I said Lolo, they started yeah, using that yeah. word. I don't know. Uh, you hear that a lot from, from uh, people who are from Mexico, I think. Okay. okay. Sand, la arena. No, la arena. La arena. Gravel, la grava. I want you to add a, a one to kind of long in that area. La piedra. P-I-E. D R A. La piedra is a stone. Okay, la piedra. Stone or a rock gives the idea of the history of Pedro, Peter. Stone, the rock. Okay. Straw, which you're going to need. Very important. La paja. 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 A wheelbarrow. This is a little hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's very literal. <laughs> la carretilla de rueda. 
la carne, la carne es vida de Herrera. Herrera es Julio. Okay. La carretilla es un cart kind of thing. It rolls along. So la carretilla is just one wheel. Okay. La carretilla de Herrera. Okay, now this, we needed something to, to be able to say to smooth it out. Okay. So what you're going to do with these mounds of things you're mixing up is at a certain point you don't want them all lumpy and so they need to be smoothed out. So we're going to put together some words. Surface is la superficie. La superficie. And smooth can be can be liso, liso. liso. or suave. suave. Suave can also mean soft, but mm -hmm. this is, it can, all, it can be smooth, so do they use I Liso, liso more. is probably going to be understood better, so let's make that. Suave uh, is more like gentle, is yeah, what I hear the most. Gentle, soft, or, mm -hmm. you know, and making it, you know, like smoothing out. Wrinkles Lisa, they'll say, is like slippery, slippery slick, like slick. on the floor also. They'll say the floor yeah, is very so. liso. Yeah. It's, it's amazing when you start thinking about, the, well, we'll, this, we'll do it on the next one. Hole. Okay, you're going to make holes in these mounds as you stack them up to dry so that they're going to, to dry better. Okay, so the air circulates. But they're not going to be, so let's mark through this first one. It says agujero. That's a hole all the way through something, like the eye of a needle. Okay, It's a hole. It's a piercing thing. Where hoyo, hoyo is what you're going to, you're going to make little hoyos with a stick, which is a what? A okay. okay. So ustedes van a hacer. Hoyos con palos. You know what I mean? Holes, cavities. Yeah. Some, some people, the video I watched, they were making with the fingers. Mm -hmm. But then you have little fingers and you have big fingers. So. All right, so, el um, hoyo. Water is el agua. El agua. Okay, which we talked about back earlier. You're going to use your hands a lot. So, las manos. Las manos. Las manos. One of them is just la mano. Okay, and you notice that breaks the rule. It's normally, O in it words are masculine. Mano happens to be feminine. Uh, if you need a finger, okay, I didn't know at that point. Okay, so that's el dedo, a digit, a good dedo. And feet, el pie, los pies. Okay. But y'all are going to be mixing, I think, with shovels rather than with your feet. I know. Yeah. We might stomp on them with our boots, but yeah. they were mixing with shovels. Yeah. Okay. All right. So these are some uh, some instructions you may hear. These I want you to be able just to hear and understand rather than be able to say them because you're not going to be bossing each other around. Uh, so mezcla. If you and I have them in uh, columns. There are commands or instructions that you give to one person. They're going to be different from those that you give that you hear to a group. So if they're talking to just you, it's going to be mezcla for mix. You're going to be mixing things. If they're talking to the whole group, it's going to be mezclin. Mezcla, mezclin. Okay. And these are some things you might be mixing: el agua y la tierra. Mezcla todo. Everything. Mixing everything and mezcla los ingredientes. Okay. okay, so you're going to make the surface smooth. You're going to smooth it out. So, as, and just listen, you don't need to repeat these. As la superficie lisa. As la superficie lisa. You're not going to say suave. Okay, and if it's for all of y'all, haga la superficie is la superficie sua alisa. Por favor. You should say por favor. Okay. Uh, pone is put to one person, pone gun if it's more than one person. So put it here. What do they call those mounds? El co. El 
or not? El col. El col. Mm -hmm. Okay. So put it here. Ponlo aquí. Put it there. O la masa. Or la masa. Yeah. So put pon la masa, pon el col, whatever word they use. You'll either ponlo or ponla. Uh, if you got a bunch of them, pon los, pon las. If you're talking to the whole group, pon gan los, pon gan las. So the, you'll hear those and you'll get used to just hearing. You know, just so that you yeah. cut the straw, because that's what you're going to be cutting, with the machete. Okay. So be careful, you don't want you, you don't want to cut the dead or the PA. <laughs> or the dead or the PA. Which is the bowl. No. All right. So corta la paja. Okay? Or corta la paja. Add more, whatever it is. Okay. Agrega más, agreguen, and that's just a little spelling rule. I, I, I made it when I realized when I glanced at it. Without the U in there, it would be agreguen. So it's agreguen más, whatever it is you're going to add. You need more, necesitas más, necesitan más. That's enough. Es bastante. No más, no more. So we're going to kind of put those together in situations next week and kind of pull together odds and ends. And then we're going to, for those who came in a little bit late, we're, for those of you who wish to do so, the last Wednesday night in May, the Wednesday night before y'all leave on to, for Bolivia on the following Wednesday, the first Wednesday, if you have changed as we talk. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you feel like you feel odds and ends, last minute questions, little last minute practice, we'll say that last Wednesday night in May, I think that'll be more useful to you. And, uh, we will not add anything new except odds and ends things. We're going to kind of pull these things together and so we can just practice with some things. All right? We don't need to pray before you do this. <laughs>